Hey guys, welcome back to another update video. And guys, I apologize for being a while since my last update video because my last update video had to have been like January. And I do apologize for that, but I've been doing other things. I mean, uploading videos and such, uploading trailers and such for Season 4 of Rebels, Battlefront 2, which is awesome. Um, the Last Jedi trailer, which is which was great. I really liked that trailer. Um, yeah, but I'm pulling a lot of scenes from the season three finale of Rebels. So I've been giving you guys videos and such, but I haven't made like an update video in months. And so things have definitely changed a lot. Um, I've gotten a lot of new stuff and such, so I can show you guys that stuff. So I'll definitely show you guys that. Um, and I'm gonna talk about tons of other stuff. But first, I'm gonna knock out this out of the way first. Um, the reason why. Well, there's many, many reasons why. Um, I haven't been that active with update videos and reviews and such like I should have been. Like, I, I saw like three more Lego Star Wars, Lego Star Wars reviews to do for the Winter Wave. Um, it is basically because um, the personal stuff was, has been going on for a while now. Um, the personal stuff's been going on, so that kind of dra dragged me away from doing uh, other stuff. And so, I do apologize for it being a while, but it's just personal stuff, so you can't really control that. It's just stuff I can't exactly control. Um, and school's been kicking me in the butt a lot, um, <laughs> especially with it getting towards the end of the year now. Um, I had to do SATs in April, so that kind of uh, that kind of knocked me out of the war as well. So that pushed me away from other stuff. Um, yeah, I've been doing other stuff. I've been listing stuff on eBay, trying to get rid of old, old stuff I've had for years and years, and try to make some money to get some new stuff. I'm um, like this smart R2D2, which is awesome. That just came out like last year, I think, on Rogue Friday last year, which I actually got a clearance for like 45 bucks at Walmart. So that's awesome. This thing is really cool. It's as cool as the Sphero BB-8 that I have over there on the dresser, and I gotta admit, I really like this thing. Um. And Cars 3, um, Cars 3 released their official trailer, like, last week. And so, I got I think Cars 3 is going to be as good as Cars 1. <laughs> it's definitely not going to be like Cars 2 for anyone that has seen the Cars movies out there. They're fans of Disney, Animation, everything, Pixar. If you guys seen Cars, you guys know what, probably know what I'm talking about because Cars 2 he, he got a lot of hate. Yeah, I can understand why Cars 1 a lot of people liked because everyone thought of it as a classic, which I do as well. Um, and Cars 3, I think it's going to be really similar and different to the other movies and similar to Cars 1 in a way because it's going to be more concentrated on McQueen again, Wahi McQueen, and the Piston Cup, which is great. I always liked that storyline from the first one. So, yeah, I got a desktop background of a scene from the trailer, which is cool. Got McQueen and the Wii here with Jackson Storm sneaking up behind them and everything, which is great. Um, and I got after seeing that trailer, I gotta say, I think I, I think we're gonna have I really enjoy this movie. I got admit, and I'm sure a lot of people will as well. That are definitely gonna go see it. And I, I think a lot of kids are gonna like it as well. If, if they know Wendy McQueen and all those characters, I'm sure they're gonna love this movie as much as some kids that grew up with Cars since 2006. Those kids. And they are now teenagers or adults. Adults, I think they're gonna really enjoy this movie as well, um, because it's gonna take them all the way back to like when the first one came out in 2006. So, yeah, it's gonna bring back some memories, <laughs> especially for me. Um, and so, which leads to this, um, I got this a few weeks ago. Is it the Jigga Toys Lightning McQueen from Cars One? It's got the Cars One design on with the Lightning Bolt and everything. It's got the rookie orange stripe on the back of him. Which is cool. It really rep it represents when back when he was a rookie in the beginning of Cars One, at the beginning of the Cars franchise in Cars One. Um, so yeah, he's got the extra white wall tires, which is great. I haven't put them on McQueen yet, but I'm sure they look really cool looking. But I'm just gonna keep the racing tires on because I guess I like those the most. Um, the Cars Three merchandise just came out May first. That was like Monday. And so I was basically. Figuring out which ones I was gonna get, I was I'm not gonna get all of these, obviously, um, because there's some that I, I don't really need. I don't really need 
is some that I already got. <laughs> um, so yeah. And so, which brings me to these over here. I got these Monday at, at Walmart, the Cars 3 Mech, and some of the new characters in Cars 3. Jackson Storm, um, Brick Yarkley, and Daniel Swervez, I think, and the Cars 3 version of Lightning McQueen. It actually was a three versions of Lightning McQueen because he's got to have like three different paid jobs in, in one movie, which is pretty cool. And I think, for what we see in the trailers, it equips everything. I think that this is going to be the Lightning McQueen we're going to see towards the end of the movie. Um, because we're probably going to see um, this McQueen towards the, like, in the first half, the first act of the movie. And then we're going to see like the Rusties train Sarah McQueen with the gold Rusties logo on the top of them. And the gold lightning bolt and such, which is cool. It have a steam training and training with Cruz, Cruz Ramirez, and everything. That pay job is gonna be like probably for a majority of the movie, and then we're gonna see him have this pay job um towards the end, and probably like in the final race during his epic comeback, probably. And so yeah, I, I obviously obviously you can tell that I don't have all the merchandise. That's why my Walmart and Target, Target didn't have nothing, which kind of surprised me. Um. And Walmart, they have some stuff, but they didn't have everything out on the, on the pecs yet. So, I was able to get everything that I wanted to get a hold of. But, I did find some of the stuff, so, which is nice. Um, so, yeah. And, by the way, guys, Tuesday, yesterday, for when I'm recording this on May 3rd, May 2nd, which was yesterday, was my 18th birthday. So, I'm, I'm now 18 years old now. Um, I'm... Sort of an adult, and sort of not an adult yet, <laughs> now. So, yeah. I, I, I know you're probably gonna, a lot of people are going to be wondering, like, how's it, what does it feel like to be 18 years old? I'm like, in my opinion, I guess I really feel any different, really, to be honest with you. It, it, for me, it, it's, it feels like the usual. So, probably as the years go by, I'll realize, I'll, I'll notice some differences, but... Right now, the moment now, like a day after my birthday, now I, I'm not really feeling out that much of a difference at all. So, yeah, just want to just want to let you guys know that was my birthday yesterday. And so, I'm sure you guys are gonna be wishing me a happy birthday, which is nice. I appreciate that. Um, and so this weekend I'll be going to Toys R Us and probably more likely the Target or uh, uh, Maryville, um, for, because I live in Valpo, Indiana, and now. It, because they only have a Toys R Us in um, Maryville, Indiana, so I gotta drive all the way out there. And hopefully, they got more. They, they got like Cars 3 merchandise because, from what I can tell, Toys R Us it seems to be the store that has the most Cars 3 stuff out of all the stores that sell Cars uh, merchandise, like Cars toys, everything. Um, so hopefully, they'll have a lot more stuff out there. So hopefully, this week I'll be going out there to get that stuff. Um, I'll be probably getting some other stuff too, which is nice. Some more, a little bit more Star Wars stuff, um, because I, I do still quit Star Wars. It's not like I quit uh, Star Wars and went back to Cars or something. No, Cars is basically just a minor thing when, with this new movie coming out. So yeah, <laughs> and that'll be back to Star Wars. Um, I'll be on the Star Wars way, I guess. <laughs> Durism. Um, hey, just so as you guys know, tomorrow is May the fourth. So May the fourth be with you. Um. <laughs> So yeah, oh jeez, <sighs> May the fourth. <laughs> man, this just uh, man, man, this just gone by so fast. <laughs> um, and I don't, I don't have this in my room right now, but I do have the new Star Wars Throng novel, which is, is so far I, for what I've read, I like it, I love it. <laughs> so far, I love that book. I really, I definitely do re recommend reading that book because it really. Takes you back to the beginning uh, of Thrawn's career as an Imperial officer, so an Imperial Admiral as well. So yeah, I gotta admit, it's a lot of fun to read. I haven't finished reading it yet, but from what I've read so far, it is a lot of fun to read. I gotta admit. <laughs> so yeah, and so I definitely recommend you guys reading it. If if you're not if you're into Thrawn or any of those characters. I highly recommend picking up that book and reading it. <laughs> just for the sake of it, or just for the fun of it, or the fact that you like Thrawn, or you like Rebels. So yeah, because he is, he's still in Rebels, he's going to be in Season 4, um, and 
Because we, we didn't see much of Thrawn in the Season 4 trailer, but we did see him in the trailer, so he, he's still around. He's going to be on the Thal still. Um, it's a, as you guys have heard, probably, Season 4 is going to be the last season of Star Wars Rebels. And then after that, after Rebels, I don't know what Dave Moore is thinking of doing, but hopefully it is great. Because so far, he's giving us two great television shows, Clone Wars and Rebels. And hopefully, the, ne the next television show is going to be great as well. Hopefully it'll be like the Old Republic, or the time period between six and seven with Luke Skywalker's storyline and the and the New Jedi Order and such at that time. Hopefully it's just what hopefully it's what those two timelines in the Star Wars story. But you never know. They might give, they might give us something brand new out of the storyline, out of the entire story. Who knows? We never, we may never know. I don't know. Um. Rogue One did come out on DVD Blu-ray. I got the Target exclusive p DVD Blu-ray pack, which is which was awesome. I gotta admit, it's got the changeable covers, everything. I like it. it I I gotta admit, I, I definitely do like that version of the movie, of the Blu-ray combo pack, everything. Um, I watched it like three times so far. Um, since I got it, um, yeah, I gotta admit, it, it it's a lot more fun watching it on. My computer than in the theater because uh, when I watched it for the first time here on the computer in my room, I forgot how much I liked Rogue One. To be honest with you, I forgot how much I enjoyed it. Um, I, uh, obviously, I did remember the scene with Darth Vader <laughs> in the end, <laughs> but I totally like, forgot how much I enjoyed that movie when, when I saw it in the theater back in December um, last year. So, yeah. <laughs> So, that's really it um, up here in my room because there's not really much to show you guys uh, other than the R2-D2 and the Cars 3 merchandise and the J-Toys McQueen. And so, oh, I forgot to mention, um, Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2 EA released the reveal trailer. We're going to be getting a story campaign, finally. Um... A story mode campaign, finally. Thank you, EA, for listening to us <laughs> for once. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to be getting Clone Wars. We're going to be getting Original Trilogy. We're going to be getting Force Awakens. We're going to be getting a little bit of Last Jedi as well, which is awesome. Um, and we're going to be getting Clone Troopers, Droids, Jedi, Jedi Starfires, Jango Fett Slave 1, Kamino, <laughs> Naboo, <laughs> Yevon 4, Hoth. <laughs> Star Killer Base, etc. I could go forever. <laughs> I gotta admit, it comes out November 17th, 2017. I'll be getting the basic version of it. I'm not gonna be getting the deluxe one this time because I got the deluxe version for Star Wars Battle for 2015. EA tw from 2015. I got the deluxe version of that. I, now I kinda feel like I should have just gotten the standard version because basically what you get in that deluxe, you'll basically get eventually. eventually after playing the game so much, a lot. So, this time around for Battlefront 2, I'll be getting the standard edition one because I know what they're going to have in the deluxe edition. I'll be getting later on eventually after playing the game so much. <laughs> so, and the fact that it's got a, 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 a 10 times better cover because the cover's got the, um, I, I think Versio, I think it, her name is, so the main character in the story mode campaign and the Sarah, she's a, she's a, TIE pilot, or like a pilot, I think, or like a TIE fire pilot, I think, um, her entire Imperial squad is called the Inferno Squad, a squad of troopers, I guess, I don't, I'm not sure if they're pilots or, or normal ground troops, I'm not really sure, because we see them flying on the ground and such, so I'm not really sure, they got their own ship, their, own, their unique Imperial ship, um, which is awesome, and for the cover, back to Back to the cover, we get we get Ray on the left side, with her, with the blue lightsaber ignited, the Skywalker lightsaber ignited, and then we have on the right side Darth Maul himself, <laughs> Episode One Darth Maul, <laughs> which was awesome, <laughs> and then over those three characters we get a space battle. And if you look closely at that cover, we get we see separatist. Flagships, we have warships, we get Re Republic Veriquest cruisers, we get Arc 170s, we see Vulture droids. Now, I should show you guys that cover real quick. 
just real quick. See if I can see if I can find it. Um. Here we go. Yeah, as you guys can see, we got some separate ships up there. We got some separate troop carriers up there. We got some Republic of Veraquest cruisers up there. There we go. Hold on. Try to shrink the size on this thing. But there is Veraquest cruisers up there, as you can see up here. You can sort of see right there. And we got some ARC 170s right there, which is awesome. And we got some Vulture droids back here. It's kind of hard to see. You can sort of see them back there. And we got the battle. Uh, I got yeah, Yavin 4 battle, which is awesome. I guess the Imperials of the Rebels, which is cool. And there's those three characters I showed you guys, that I told you guys about. Darth Maul on the right, Rey on the left, and, and Iden Versio. And then we got the Star Wars Battle for 2 EA logo. So, this is basically the standardized cover for the for the game itself. Um, and I'll definitely begin a standardized edition, not just because it's cheaper and I don't need to worry about getting a deluxe edition, but because of the cover. I, I like the cover on that one 10, 10 times better than the deluxe edition cover where it's just got I I think Versio on it. And so uh, oh I always forgot about this too. What's wrong with me? <laughs> um Smuggler's Bounty, I got the Rebels Smuggler's Bounty box um back in March I think, if I remember right. And I got the Darth Maul Funko Pop and Captain Rex. I love them. Two of my favorite Funko Pops out of all these. And hopefully soon I'll have a I'll have Ahsoka as well. And I also got a pre Death Trooper, which is cool. And I got the Atari Chopper. It was like a orange color. It's the orange one out of the five different colors you can get. Um. So yeah. Um. Let's go ahead and down to my basement. I'll show you the rest of the new stuff I have, and we'll end off the video. So let's go, guys. Okay, guys. So now we're down in my studio. Um. As you can see, I've been taking pictures of some stuff I was going to list at eBay, which is some of the stuff here. Um, some of these May figures as well. From Some of them are from the Death Star set that I got on Christmas last year. And I actually got Sabine Wren, the Black Series 6-inch figure, back in February, which I really like. I really like this one. Um, got the Clone Troopers lined up everything. I've been re rearranging some of these Black, ser Black Series figures to be a little more cooler of a pose. I got the Clone Troopers angled everything with Kamara Coney in the middle. And I got the 40th anniversary um, display that also came with Darth Vader, the episode 4 Rogue One Darth Vader, which I really, 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 really like. I got it. This was way better than this one over here. <laughs> Very, 10 times as accurate than the older one. And it just looks 10 times cooler. <laughs> And I got mad, once I get all the original trilogy characters, at least the main characters, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be going after the Death Star Gar or the Tusker Raider or the Jawa. I'm just basically after the main characters like three PO, R2, Chewie, Han, Luke, Leia, the Stormtrooper, and Darth Vader, and Ben Kenobi as well. Um, and so yeah, that's the only, those are the only ones I really concentrate on for the 40th anniversary Black Series Wise scenario. Um, because I don't really care much for the Tusker Raider or the Jawa or the Death Star Guard. Only the hardcore Black Series fans are really into those. So, I'll, I'll just tell them good luck finding them because so far this is the only thing I've found in my area. I haven't found any of the, the, sep uh, the single card figures yet in my store. I found this one. I was lucky to find this at Walmart and this was the only one left. So I was, I was lucky to get this. So, yeah, uh, I'm just glad I was there where I was because otherwise it probably would have been gone. <laughs> and so, yeah, I got admit, this is well worth getting, especially if you're getting into the 40th anniversary Black Series figures. Definitely get this, not just for Darth Vader, which is awesome, um, but the display so you can display your figures, which is, which is the next way to display them, I gotta admit. Um, as you can see, I got the other two Rogue One sets, the Battle on Scarif of the one with Starfire, 
Um, I have not reviewed these yet, but I, I will be reviewing them sometime this week to get them done, knocked out of the way, so you guys can have those reviews to watch, um, along with this update video as well. So, yeah, because... I, I do apologize for that, for being behind on this stuff. It's just been because of that personal stuff that's been going on with me um, for the past few months, um, and it's just been that just pushed me away a lot. That, that dragged a lot of energy on me because to the point where I guess I hang up energy to do school and nothing else. So yeah, um, and the fact that school has been pushing me and those SATs I did back in April that kind of. <laughs> wavered me off <laughs> into deep space um <laughs> and such so yeah i do apologize though for that doing that many reviews weekly but i can't really do much about it and some things you can't exactly control all that much and so yeah i gotta admit black series 40 of efforts for stuff um there's a smoker's body box <laughs> um i'm collecting the Lenny McQueen's all the versions of Lenny McQueen for the movies, like the two versions of him from Cars 2 and all in the version, in the three, yeah, three versions of him from Cars 1, and I'm going to keep him in the package, which is, which is nice, I gotta admit, it, 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 they look really cool in the package, I gotta admit, look okay, at this one here, like, look how, look how cool that is in the package. It'll be well worth keeping in the package in case if I want to sell them again. Uh, it's sell them on eBay or something. Yeah, I'll get more money out of them because, uh, because of that. Um, so, yeah, other than that, <laughs> that's going to be really it. Um, so, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next update video. Um, and one of these reviews. Um, and the A-Wing Starfire review, which should be coming soon, um, hopefully soon, hopefully a little bit after these two are uploaded, because I, I need to go out to Toys R Us and grab that A-Wing Starfire set, so I can get that build, uh, review that for you guys, and so, have a great, have a great day guys, and may the 4th be with you, um, and I'll see you then, bye!